In this lab, we're going to look at 3.1.9, which is troubleshooting a power supply. So in this one, we believe that the power supply may be at fault because the computer keeps shutting down unexpectedly. So we need to test it and then replace it and make sure we have one that includes a PCI connector for future hardware updates. Now we have a new tool in this one, which is a power supply tester. And along with the power supply tester, it gives us this exhibit with some instructions on how to connect that and use it. So we'll be using that a little bit later. First thing it wants us to do is we're going to boot it up and just see what happens. Okay, so the computer failed to turn on. It won't even turn on for us. So what we want to do then is we're going to look at the inside. Well, first let's look at the back. And we want to unplug the power from that power supply. Make sure we don't have anything pumping into that while we disconnect things. So we're going to look on the inside. Let's grab our power supply tester. We're going to drag that out onto the desktop so that we have it out there to use. Now, if we look at the exhibit, what it says, we need to turn off the PC and unplug, unplug the power cable. We've done that. Open the case. We did that. And now we need to unplug the motherboard power connector. And so that's going to unplug from the motherboard and then plug into the right side of our tester. Then we take the CPU connector and we're going to plug that into the left side of the tester. And then last but not least, we're going to power the tester using a SATA 15 pin connector. And that will allow us to then analyze the output. You can see it shows in this little window what the, what it should look like, what a normal power supply should provide us. And it shows us the acceptable ranges over here. So let's close this and let's do that. So I'm going to take and zoom in. I'm going to take our main motherboard connector, drag it over, and plug it in on the right side. And I'm going to grab our CPU connector, which is a four pin, and plug that in to the bottom there. And then last but not least, I'm going to take a SATA cable. And does it look like we, it looks like we just have one hard drive in here. So I'm going to steal it from there. So if I come in and look at the drive bays and, oh, we do, we have a couple, but I'm going to steal this one and drag it down and plug it into the power supply tester. Okay. So now the last thing is said we needed to do is we can plug our, power supply back in. So I'm going to jump back into the motherboard and, oh, sorry. Oh, we need to look at the back so we can get it plugged in. Look at the back and I'm going to see which of these power cables isn't connected. looks like it's the top one. So I can drag that down and plug that into the power supply. Now it is powering our tester up instead of the motherboard. I'm going to zoom in and let's look at the screen. Zoom in again. So you can see it is going all over the place, including we're getting LL responses. So that's definitely a bad power supply. So let's take that out. So we want to um, disconnect the power to the internal hard drives. I think I left one connected. So let's get back to our drive bays and let's pull the power off of that. Probably should have pulled it off from the get-go. So what we need to do now is take our power supply out of our chassis here. So I'm going to look at the back, and we need to unplug that cable. So we'll take that out again, and our tester shuts off. Let's look back in the motherboard. And now we should be able to drag this out and set it on our workbench. Okay, so now we need to get our new power supply. So I'm going to come back here to power supplies and we need to find the 20 plus four and four pin connectors with a PCIe. So that's going to be this guy. The other two don't have PCIe. I'm going to drag that in and let's get all the power reconnected.
So I'm going to reconnect the motherboard. I'm going to reconnect the CPU. And on this motherboard, it's the four pin, not the six pin, as is uh, used in other labs. So we have that, the four pin, and now we need to connect our, our SATA 15 pins to the drive. So I need to go back to drive base. Now that we're looking at the drive bay, I need to get these two plugged back in. So if you go to your workspace and expand the case, it's going to show us everything inside the case. And we need to grab the power supply that's inside that case. And we're going to use the SATA connectors from there. So I'm going to drag those over, get them connected. And I need to plug the power into the back. So I'm going to click on my power cable. Get that plugged back in. And then the thing that I often forget is I need to turn on the power switch on the power supply. So I'm going to turn that on. And I can switch back to the front and turn it on. Let's see if it boots up. Okay, that's looking good. Let's score the lab, see how we did. Okay, we're all done. Thanks for joining me.